Well, we talk about our, our favorites when it comes to writers. When you're traveling, as I do, sometimes you don't want to be too serious about it. You're really looking for a little break from the work, especially when it's 1 o'clock in the morning on an airplane somewhere over the U.S. And uh, one of the authors I continue to go to is Louis L'Amour. L'Amour, uh, 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s writer, over 100 publications uh, he, he's put out. He's a f- fiction writer, largely of Western stories, also has done some of the... Uh, detective stories, uh, more typical of other detective writers, but his Western stories are unique. He's in line with Zane Gray for some of the great historical fiction about the uh, West, particularly uh, the Native American tribes uh, in the Arizona, uh, Mexico area. And I was reading one of these books on a, on an early flight here this year, and one of the flight attendants saw it, and she said, how long have you been reading Louis L'Amour? And I said, well, most of my life. She said, well, he lived next door to me for a while in Arizona. And I was like, whoa. She said, you know what the great part of the books are is that even though they're fiction books, they're largely based on fact, a lot of it being stories that have been handed down over the centuries, but they're also about true areas. And she said, if you read his book and you want to go to the areas he's talking about, you can do that. You can find them. You can find the caves. You can find the mesas. You can find the hills. You can find the ranches. You can find the old towns. They're still there. You've got to do some searching sometimes, but they're still there. That makes his reading, I think, even more enjoyable because it is like an historical novel, even though they're just great reads. They're quick. They're not difficult. He develops characters extremely well. And it's about the Old West. Uh, and the way it really was. And he did a lot of work, research himself, going to those areas, going to the places that he writes about. So if you just want something that's just a great read, uh, at 1 o'clock in the morning on an airplane, (laughs) God forbid, try Louis L'Amour. I think you'll like his stuff.